Four teasing flirting tips. How to tease. Coming up. Je ne regret rien. There you go. No. Can I just ask you something? The next yeah. time you want the bell, just ask I'll bring it over. Don't lean over the desk. <laughs> I'm going to break down a conversation between Craig Ferguson and Alice E. He uses various techniques consistently in all of his interviews with beautiful women to generate massive amounts of rapport and attraction. Let's get into it. First, you need to state your intentions that you are interested. For beginners, this is usually the hardest part when you're meeting someone new, making the conversation man to woman. This can be done jokingly. See how Craig does it. Just like this is a pretend show, this has all been put together so I could meet you because we're meant to be together. <laughs> He's basically pretending that he went through all the effort of creating a TV show just to meet her. It's absurd, unexpected, and it makes her laugh with also stating his intentions. Push-pull. After you've stated your intentions, you can start teasing. In my previous video, I have explained what the push-pull technique is. Link down in the description. In short, pulling means complimenting and pushing means showing disinterest. In this example, Craig first gives a compliment by imitating a creepy Star Trek fan. This is the pull. Very You're in good. Star Trek now, which means you'll be followed by a lot of people who will say that to you. We were meant to be together, Alice. <laughs> As you can see, Alice gets a bit uncomfortable by the compliment. This is the perfect setup for the push. Look, there you are. There it is. Yeah, that's, you're in that's it. That's actually not me, yeah. That's, no, and that, that's not you? No, that's... I thought that was you. <laughs> He makes fun of her by mistaking Alice for a guy on the cover. This is how you should tease a woman to create attraction. It shows that you find her attractive, but it also shows you're not too invested. Being distracted. If a woman is wearing revealing clothing like Alice is doing, a simple technique is to state the elephant in the room. You can say that you're distracted by her outfit. Again, teasing her a little bit and showing your intent. I have to say that's a very distracting dress. Sorry. It's all right. Actually, the dress is fine. It's, it's, I'm just having a very hard time. Notice here how the tension becomes too much and it's Alice that's now redirecting the conversation to a different topic. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of them, yeah. Here, Craig uses the same technique stating what he's thinking. Je ne regret rien. There you go. No. Can I just ask you something? The next yeah. time you want the bell, just ask I'll bring it over. Don't lean over the desk. <laughs> He's basically blaming Alice for what she's doing to him and he's trying to set boundaries in a humorous way. You can say almost anything if it comes from a place with a playful vibe. Make fun of her habits. A big mistake which people make is to make fun of a personal trait of a person, like their height or weight, something they cannot change. A great way to prevent this is to make fun of her habits, how she does things. To end the show, Alice wants to do a fake argument. So let's have a fake argument. No. Why not? Because you come here looking like this and expect me to concentrate. That's why. I can't believe you would shout at a lady. Alice is being passive aggressive. How would you respond to this? A. Why are you so passive aggressive? B. Well, it's your fault for wearing that dress. C. Is this how you argue? Is this how you argue? <laughs> So he makes fun of her by teasing the way she argues. This is great because it demonstrates high status when you correct someone, just like a teacher would to a student. This creates attraction when done romantically. And even more important, he's not making fun of her, but making fun of the way she does something. That's all I have for today. If you liked the video, then I think you'll love my previous videos as well. I'm making a playlist of these kinds of breakdowns, so stay tuned and go check out my other videos. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel and I'll see you in the next one.